<laughs> what is up and welcome back family welcome to it i'm gonna show you how i do my etsy tag research and uh it's a combination of um, just like pattern recognition, Etsy's source code, a little bit of common sense. And we're gonna do it for free instead of paying all of these subscription services to like do it for you. <laughs> all right, so first things first, anybody can do this. Uh, as long as you have a Windows device, I'm pretty sure that this is possible and you can do it. So this is what we're gonna do. This is my Etsy shop. Don't mind it. Don't mind my Etsy shop. It's just back there chilling. We are going to just open another random window and uh, let's just look at um, something random. Uh, Halloween stuff, right? Let's look up Halloween shirts. Halloween is coming up, right? So let's say I want to do a little bit of research on uh, what shirts or how to tag my Halloween shirts, right? Uh, the way that I work is is that I'm an illustrator. I do everything that I do is by hand. I draw it out, but I work in reverse. I don't do like niche research first. I pretty much draw whatever I want to draw. I pick a subject that I want to draw and I draw it. I then come on the back end and then try to figure out how to tag it and how to get it in the rankings appropriately. Uh, now, a lot of people are going to tell you to do that in reverse. I'm going to be one of those people. You probably should do your niche, re niche research first in order to do away with the headache, right? Uh, so when I create a design uh, and I'm done with my design, right? Let's say I did a Halloween design and I'm finished with it. This is a Halloween shirt of mine. I've created this design. Now, I want to try to think... Uh, of different ways that I can tag it. I can only think of so many different ways to do that. In order to get the most popular tags, the best ranking tags, I'm gonna go look and collect those tags, right? And so I'm just gonna do a quick search for Halloween shirt. These very first few shirts here, they're here for a reason, okay? They're on the very first page, on the very first row for a very good reason. These are ads, right? This very first row is ads. Uh, obviously that ad is for this one. So let's take a look at this one. Obviously it's doing good. It's on the very first row. It's not an ad. Let's take a gander at it real quick. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go to the product page. Now that I'm at the product page, let's see what she got going on here. Fall shirt, monogram, Halloween shirt, women's Halloween, 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 pumpkin spice. Okay, so in order for me to do my tag research in order to figure out what tags on the back end what tags that they have uh, i'm just going to right click on anywhere outside the image just like in a blank space on the web page you don't want to click on any elements right because if you click on an element you get different options so you don't want to be clicking on elements and stuff like that over here in buttons click on a random open spot and go to page source as soon as you do that you get all of this mathematics right but what you want to do is just hit control f control f and then find i'm going to put in the word tags don't put in tag okay tag if you put in tag there's 93 different items that come up just put in the word tags with an s 10 different listings come up and you're just going to hit find next until you get to 7 of 10. This is how I do it every single time I finish a design and I want to figure out how to tag it the way that the absolute best are tagging theirs, right? To be found and for the most visibility possible. So you hit next until you get to 7 of 10. It's always going to be on 7 of 10. Always it's going to be on 7 of 10. Uh, and then you can see this is what you're looking for. You're going to go down just a little bit. This is what you're looking for. Tag with image text internal. This is the beginning of their internal tags that the lister have, has used uh, in order to get their product in the best uh, place possible and the highest visibility. So this is the beginning of it, right? And you can see it looks like this every time you see these little wave this is how i know i'm in the right place when you see all of these waves and stuff like that was my head covering it up my head might have been covering it up right but this is what you're looking at this is what you're looking for it's tag with image text internal 
So now that you see that, you know you're in the right place. Here are all of the tags, guys. And you got cute fall shirt. Uh, we've got a fall pumpkin shirt. We've got a monogram shirt. We've got a women's fall shirt, Halloween shirt, women's Halloween, funny Halloween tee, monogram Halloween, pumpkin shirt, Halloween women and Halloween costume. There's a lot going on there. There's a lot going on there, but there's, if you know about Etsy SEO, then you know why all of these tags work for this listing. They're all long tail keywords. They're more than, most of them are more than two words. So there's three words. These are long tail keywords, every single last one of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop out of this one and I'm gonna go to the next one and I'm gonna go to the next one and I'm going to look at different listings in order to see if I see similarities in the tagging, that will let me know that those people probably paid the subscription. <laughs> they probably paid the subscription for those services to get the best tags and all of that stuff. So they know something that I don't know. So I'm assuming that if the best, highest, most increased visibility uh, listings if they keep having the same tag over and over, I know that there's something to it. So that's a good one. There's a lot of long tail keywords in there. Uh, Halloween costume, a little weird for just a sweater, but I see what they're doing. I see where they're poking their head in, right? And so let's just back out of here. Uh, let's go to another one here. How about you? Just a random, it's not an ad. Okay, I wanna make sure it's not an ad. So I'm gonna click on this one. This is just a plain Halloween. They're on the first page. They're on the first page with a Halloween shirt that just has a pumpkin and a kitty. How are they there? There's something to it. They're doing something different. So what is it? It's not the Black Cat Halloween custom. Okay, it can't be the title. It's just not, it's not the title. It can't be the shirt. They don't have the best mock-up. Well, that one's pretty nice. Okay, 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 I'll take that back. Uh, but, so what we're gonna do, once again, we're just gonna click on an open area on their product page. Uh, click view source or page source. Sometimes it'll say view source, um, but you just click view source, page source. And we're looking at the source code, so I'm gonna hit control F. I'm gonna type in tags, 10 come up. I'm gonna go to seven of 10. It's always at seven of 10. And then as soon as you get right past seven to 10, here we go. So here are their tags. Cute Halloween shirt, Hocus Pocus, interesting. Witches, that's a bad keyword. It's just one word, witches, that's horrible. Uh, Funny Halloween, pumpkin tea, Sanderson sisters, that's for Hocus Pocus, right? So, I, so this person is poking their toes into the Hocus Pocus movie kind of genre thing. Gay Halloween shirt. Okay, so they're poking themselves into another niche with the with gay Halloween shirt, LGBT Halloween shirt, uh, black cat Halloween. Okay, so the reason that they're where they are and the reason that they're ranking where they are is because they're not just making this this listing and their tags about Halloween and what the shirt is about. They've layered uh, niches on top of each other. Uh, in a way that's gotten invisibility in, in two totally different areas. So that's that's where my mind is going when I'm doing this research. I'm trying to figure out mentally why they're being listed where they are, especially when the picture doesn't make sense, when uh, you know when, when, when the title doesn't make sense. Why are they where they are? Now it's starting to shed a little bit more light on it. So let's do something a little bit different, right? Instead of looking at another really successful one, let's go to like page four. 20. <laughs> let's go to let's just go somewhere far let me see page 11 let's keep going keep going let's keep going page 11 page 14 page 14 okay page 14 looks good uh and we're going to do some research on one of these i want it to be something that looks decent right like why is it on page 14 kind of mentality like it's a decent shirt. They have a decent mock-up. Mom of the Patch. That's unique. Pumpkins, blah, 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 blah. Mom of the Patch. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, pumpkin, Mom of the Patch, Halloween, tea, Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Uh, it's like Halloween four times in the title. That's red flag number one, right? We get it. It's a Halloween shirt. 
that just looks like tag stuffing to me it looks like tag stuffing uh so that's just red flag number one they have a really good mock-up type of situation going on they got additional images asking for ratings that's a really good idea it's pretty cool so good let's go ahead and look at the page source uh, and we're going to go control f we're going to type in tags we're going to go to 7 to 10 and we're going to see what they've got going on here happy halloween halloween gift funny halloween halloween party halloween shirt halloween t-shirt hocus pocus shirt and then that's it so it kind of makes sense why they're on page 14. due to their tagging it kind of makes sense they looked like hocus pocus shirt like it looks like maybe they were sh trying to get into a different niche but it looks like it's not working for them um they have in their tags they probably have the word just like in their title they have the word halloween in like six or seven of their tags not the best idea mentally for me i'm cataloging that don't do that in the future you'll end up on page 14 <laughs> right so that makes sense let me do one more let's go to one more bad one uh and i don't want to say they're bad but i just want to go to one more that's really far off and try to make sense as to why they're there you should be diving into a couple niches here right uh halloween 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 a lot of halloweens like we get it it's a halloween shirt we can see the mock-up it's a halloween shirt we get it uh so let's see we're gonna right click go to page source uh control f type in tags go to seven to ten and let's see what they're working with halloween shirt lgbt halloween shirt i put a spell on you okay uh gay halloween shirt halloween shirt men sanderson sisters pumpkin tea pumpkin tea ha funny halloween witches hocus pocus cute halloween shirt yeah so i it, it it makes sense why they are where they are too and this is something that i think everybody needs to focus on and it's not just etsy it's not just amazon uh, merch by amazon it's not just these other sites when you're layering your niches like that just like i was talking about a little bit earlier in the vid if you're going to be layering your niches like that you want to make sure that the element is actually there is actually in uh your listing like what sh sh what what this person has done is they've done gay halloween shirt lgbt halloween shirt but this has nothing to do with lgbt and so that's messing with your click and if you're running ads that's just messing with your click-through rate because people are actually coming to look for an lgbtq shirt or an lgbtq halloween shirt something nice little snazzy they can wear and this ain't gonna be it and even if they do look at it and click on it they're not gonna go through with that so you just want to be honest and truthful with your tags i'm cataloging this mentally right you want to be honest and truthful with your tags because all that that's going to do is leave you on page 15 or 16 people clicking 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 but nobody buying nobody pushing all the way through i know what they were trying to do i get what they were trying to do they just went about it the wrong way if you're going to put pumpkin tea slap a little pumpkin on the side over here bam niche complete if you're going to say something about a gay you know this that that make the word spell or rainbow bam niche complete and then the people the, the, at least at the very least your tags are, are starting to match your listing and i promise that's going to look better for you so this is how i do my research um once you kind of get the hang of, of of just kind of going to listings going to the best going to the worst figuring out why that gap is there and then going back to your own listings and not and not just using this to go and steal somebody's tags go to the best one steal their tags it's important to go to those best listings and look at how they're tagging in order to create the logic that you need to not need to steal anybody's tags to create that logic that you need in order to do this on your own without even needing to do uh tag research you'll have that mentality down where you're like okay i'm going to create a design i'm gonna niche layer right i'm gonna niche layer um, it's gonna be a halloween shirt but i'm gonna niche layer it's gonna be lgbtq halloween it's gonna have mushrooms it's gonna be an outdoorsy botanical you're gonna reach into a lot of different niches but you have to make sure that your design you know reflects that if it does and if your design is dope and you've got those right tags in there i think you got a winner my friend so this is what i've been doing this is how i've been doing my niche research i haven't talked very much about my etsy shop 
um, if you would like to know about what I do with my Etsy shop and kind of updates and, and like revenue updates and stuff like that with my Etsy shop, if you're interested, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if this is a new kind of way um, that you are looking at uh, doing research. If I saved you a couple bucks because you can go and cancel a membership somewhere, then that's cool too. Hit the like, subscribe. Uh, I'll be dropping a lot more videos uh, on side hustles and passive income. Check out my other videos that I'm doing on Amazon KDP. And um, I appreciate the love, guys. Thanks for checking it out if you stayed this long. And I will check you guys on the next one. Did I wing? I winged.